Fox 13, the most powerful name in local news. This is News Edge at 11. Our Fox focus tonight is on a company with local ties that has developed a product that could save lives in combat. It's not a weapon that may prove to be just as important on the front lines. Fox 13's Mark Wilson has our exclusive story. Spectacular night vision technology has made night fighting easier. But once a soldier pulls that trigger, a soldier's greatest weapon can also be his or her Achilles heel. That flash exiting the gun's barrel means their once hidden position is now visible to the enemy. Simply by firing it. Rick so Pimley, sure a Largo businessman and former soldier, says this tiny device could change that and save lives on the front lines. It's called a flash suppressor. And his company developed it back in the mid-90s, trying to find something more effective than the military's standard suppressor. That gives away your position. With the Vortex, you regain the night. It's called the Vortex, and much like a silencer would dampen the sound of a gun, the Vortex also screws on the end, trapping the gases emitted from the barrel, minimizing the flash. You know, one on top in October, when we joined the Ghost Riders from Clearwater on the front lines in Iraq, look what we found on the end of their M240 machine guns. A flash suppressor, either the Vortex or an exact replica. We flew with them on a night patrol and watched the muzzle flash when they engage. The flash is minimal. Only the tracers are visible. Rick says his company sent the Ghost Riders Vortexes to test them, but it's not standard equipment by any means. We wanted to see the difference with and without in a controlled environment. So we met Rick at Knight's shooting range in Pinellas Park. First, an M4 without the Vortex. The flash is obvious, so he screws on the Vortex. Now you be the judge. Then another weapon, an AR-15, similar to an AK-47. First, without it. Then he loads the Vortex and turns out the lights again. This time, it's even more dramatic and much less visible. Clint Meyer, who works at the shooting range where we did this test, saw the demonstration and bought one on the spot for his wife. She's now fighting in Afghanistan. Still, it's something only a fraction of our soldiers are using. I mean, my God, the government price is $31 on these things, and they will save lives. Mark Wilson, Fox 13 News. Now, the Navy has recently adopted this device for the SEALs to use on their Mark 14 rifle, but so far the Army is still just testing it out. This 